Let's look at how these gated channels work, or at least what they do in some minimal detail. Gated channels can be either open or closed, and this is really the take-home message of this slide. They can be open or closed, and they will regulate ion flow to allow, as it says, response to stimulus. We have a voltage-gated channel on the left. A depolarization will cause the channel to open, and ions will flow in the direction from high concentration to low concentration. That part is not mysterious. Item B is ligand-gated, so this could be the acetylcholine receptor of a muscle cell, for example, responding to acetylcholine released by a neuron that is innervating that muscle. So the little upside down red teardrops might be acetylcholine binding to a receptor site, and the result is to open this channel to allow ions to flow and for a response in the muscle or next nerve cell. We have ligand-gated intracellular and extracellular channels. We won't talk too much about those. And there's an example of a mechanically gated ion channel. We're going to look at nerve cell function as an example of how ion flow disturbs resting potentials and how that disturbance results in a response.